When the Hubble telescope was launched in 1990, it was only designed to last 15 years, but continues to operate today thanks to upgrades now celebrating 29 years of science. And live with us this morning is NASA astronaut John Grunsfeld. And I know you greatly love the Hubble as you became known as the Hubble repairman. What new images has the Hubble taken recently of our universe? Well, Hubble has uh, done well over a million images and we're releasing on the 10th anniversary of the last servicing mission, a couple of images that really are mind blowing. This is uh, the result of putting together 16 years of uh, images of the deepest views of our universe. We call these deep fields. And this one in particular is the largest one we've produced. It's still only a tiny <coughs> part of the sky, about the size of what your thumb would cover if you hold it at arm's length. And it shows t over hundreds of thousands of galaxies, each with billions of stars, reaching back to within you know, just 500 million years of the Big Bang that, that started the whole thing, the whole universe. And so this shows us, uh, you know, a snapshot of the whole history of the universe. Uh, now, you know, you've actually had hands-on really experiences with the Hubble because you've made repairs to it. What was it like being up there and what kind of upgrades did you do to it to make it last until today? Well, being an astronaut and going to space in the first place is just an incredible experience. But being an astronomer, a scientist, and going up and going into a spacesuit and working on the Hubble uh, is absolutely magical. It's really hard hard to describe how incredible it is uh, to be able to look out at the Earth while you're you know taking wrenches and being a mechanic on the world's most significant scientific instrument. Um, but really, it's it's just incredible to to go up there put in these new cameras, put on new solar rays, new batteries, new gyros, and do repairs with screwdrivers and wrenches of scientific instruments to bring them back to life, such that Hubble can take those incredible images. And, and Hubble is, is working great, even though our warranty is over. <laughs> so uh, earlier I mentioned that the Hubble was supposed to last about 15 years. Next year it turns 30, so how's it doing? Well, Hubble's still in great shape. And that's because we've done five missions to, to fix all the things that are wrong. Now, it has been 10 years since the last one, uh, but Hubble is still doing great and, and observing all the time. Uh, we don't know what the future holds, of course, um, but the, the images are still coming in, and we're still finding out that we live in this fantastic and beautiful universe. Now, as someone who has been to space before, because you guys just mentioned that, I mean, are we going back to the moon? Are you excited about that? If we ever can get back up there anytime soon? Well, of course, you know, we're in space now. We have the International Space Station. We have astronauts aboard. Um, but we are working on plans to go back to the moon. And I was inspired by the Apollo program in the 1960s. I was in elementary school, and I saw that. And I thought, wow, that's a great adventure. Uh, I'd like to do that. I'd like to be an astronaut. Uh, and it inspired me to study math and science and, and work hard. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure I ever really believed I could become an astronaut, but it, it was a goal and I, I did get to do that. So I'm hoping that this, this plan to go back to the moon will inspire young people, you know, in our country and around the world uh, to study hard, to learn new things, and, and that we'll be successful and that it will be inspiring. So until we get back up to the moon and get another telescope up in space, where can folks just really learn more about the Hubble as it continues its lifespan now, almost double what it was expected to last? Well, absolutely. And, and we're working on a new telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope. And if you want to learn more about Hubble and all the data, all these images are available to everybody, you can follow Hubble at, at NASA Hubble or go to worldwideweb.nasa.gov and you can see all of our stuff, including Hubble and James Webb, and uh, learn more about our, our plans to go to the moon. All right, astronaut John Grunsfeld, thank you so much for teaching us a little about the Hubble this morning. Greatly appreciate your time and your wealth of knowledge there. Oh, my pleasure.